Perfect. everybody and welcome back to another episode of Reaction Therapy. I'm your resident psychotherapist Tom Stevens having a great time here to break down lyrics to some incredible music. I can't wait. I'm just too excited is the problem because today we have Marshmallow and Lil Peep together. Y'all together, Marshmallow, Lil Peep, Spotlight's the name of the song. You know we want to spread mental health awareness to the world through music and lyrics. And this is how we're going to do it today. Thank you for making Reaction Therapy what it is, for allowing us to do this every single day. Have a blast and create a huge, close, tight-knit community. Go check our new memberships on YouTube. Check our Patreon page with subscriptions. All kinds of content that's extra over there and live streams in connection with us. That's what we love to do. Without further ado, we got to get into this. Marshmallow and Lil Peep, Spotlight. Loving you is like a fairy tale. I just can't pick up the phone again. This time I'll be on my own, my friend. One more time I'm all alone again. I, I, I. I'm getting a little caught up in the video, just wondering what kind of creepy thing's gonna happen. But I'm hearing the lyrics and I'm like, loving you is like a fairy tale. Well, fairy tales can be great in the end sometimes when it's great, but they can also be tragic, you know, up and down. Oh, I'm kind of nervous about this. One more time, I'm all alone again. You know, fairy tales do that. Sometimes they have tragic endings and there's a breakup and you're just not able to you hope that everything works out wonderful and sometimes it just doesn't little peep come on with it look at this lady i gotta start this over loving you is like a fairy tale i just can't yeah. pick yeah. up the phone again oh. this time i'll be on my own my friend one more time i'm all alone again with you yeah, is yeah, like yeah. a dream and just wanna hear you scream again. Now you're gone, I can't believe it. Yeah, I'm gonna skip past that little little part right there. In other words, being with her is incredible. It's just the best. And now you're gone. God, the the heartache, y'all, relate to this. I know you can. You ever been in a relationship that you've lost? The love that you have in a relationship, the passion, the connection, and then all of a sudden when it's gone, or when he says, you're gone again, which means probably she left, and he has to live with that, it's so painful day after day after day to think I've lost the very thing I love, the very person that I've wanted to be with, and now I have to just keep going on. And it's very hard. Use music, use journaling, use exercise, or at least movement. Use close friends you trust. Use mentors. Get some therapy. I'm not kidding you. After a breakup, not everybody needs therapy. I know that. But if you get it, it can really help speed things along because you can understand patterns that you were in. You can also move through the grief process in a way that somebody can help you do that and see what's happening rather than just commiserating, sitting in a dark room, curled up in a ball, looking at social media or reminiscing on pictures. So many people won't get rid of pictures, but I'm diving way too deep into a broken relationship. I need to hear where this is heading. Beat drop. I hear you scream again. Now you're gone, I can't believe it. Time I spent with you deceiving me. I don't care if you believe in me. I still wonder ah, why you're ah. leaving me. I don't care if you believe me. I still So these two are the got to be the ones in the relationship, right? And she's sitting there by herself, and he's there with all his friends. New date. Hello. Oh, this is the worst. But, dude, she's just staring him down, man. I wish she'd just stare him down, enjoy her food, and not let any of that negative energy infect her because I don't like when people are toxic. I don't like when people try to get back at each other. I don't like it. You don't need to get back at somebody. Move forward with your life. Like, Try to do things that are good for you, not things that'll that'll be bad for the other person just to get back at them. <sighs> but this person's just doubting it. It's almost like, um, I can't figure out why we've broken up. And when you've been in a relationship where you can't figure out what just happened here, why'd you leave me? What, 
it's important to look in the mirror and say, well, maybe it's because the other person wanted to leave. Maybe it's their issue. Like maybe they couldn't handle it. Maybe they just wanted something else. Maybe they just thought it would be greener on the other side. Or maybe it's something I did. And maybe it's something I was too much of this or too little of that, or I need to be able to understand that it doesn't have to be all my fault, but a part of it is. So I need to recognize what my part is in the relationship and know that when there's a breakup, how much of it was mine, how much of it was theirs, write that down and try to do some work on that so that you know, either with your, if you're ever back together with this person, you won't keep doing that or they won't, or if you're ever together with somebody else, you won't carry this baggage into that relationship. Wow. you know I'm faded. I'm faded. All this liquor. Just drowning themselves in liquor. Moving on, man. She goes out with that bike helmet riding the motorcycle. Crazy good lighting here with all these different colors. But boy, when you put me in the spotlight, it's when you put me in the spotlight. Because when you're in the spotlight, you are the one that everything shines upon. And I read it as... Uh, I hope you know that you can tell what you can tell me whatever you're thinking. When you put me in the spotlight, it's almost to me like you've elevated me up. Like you've put me in the spotlight. That means I'm shining bright. And now all of a sudden you're gone. I can't figure all of this out. But when you put me in the spotlight is when it screwed me up. And that's when the liquor started I started drowning in the liquor because I, I was here and now all of a sudden I'm not. Think of me up being in a spotlight and all of a sudden just turning it off and you're in the darkness. And that's that's to me how they feel in the song. The pictures are up, y'all. Oh, it's so painful to look back at those pictures and think that's when we were happy. Like that's when we were together. When the moon hit your skin, I could see you and him. Mm -mm -mm. Not you and me. Not you and me. Gosh, this is sad. I see the sword on the wall. That doesn't make me feel very good. When the moon hit your skin, I could see oh, you look at that. and him. Not you and me. But it's just you and me. When the sun yeah. shines yeah. above. Dude, this is getting so deep. This is, I don't know, it's kind of wacko here. Look at this. The kid's got the jelly like all over his face. All the people. This is like going to a Waffle House, man. You see all kinds of different people. They've all got different stories in life. They're all living a different way. And the guy, the dude in the relationship is just sitting there with all his friends around him, staring forward blankly. Almost like he's stuck in this. And I can't tell who, which side this song is actually talking about, but he almost looks like, yeah, I've got these people around me, but it's not the same. I'm just sitting here staring at you. And she's already gone. She's left the diner. <laughs> he's still looking at her. And you've got all these people. Oh, these people. Oh, I don't care if you believe me, but I'm still wondering what the heck just happened. Look at these people, y'all. I just wanna hear you scream again Now you're gone, I can't believe it Time I spent with you deceiving ah. me I don't care if you believe in me I still wonder why you're leaving me I don't care if you believe me I Cry. <laughs> Why you're leaving me I don't care if you believe me 
Crybabies. What a great name of a restaurant, y'all. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is too much. Leave me. I still wonder why you tease me. And if I'm taking this the wrong way. This is so sad. Her in the shower. It's radically cool shower, by the way. Uh, with the colors flashing on the shower head. And she's got the eternal rose there in the glass. You know, which, man, Beauty and the Beast. But so scary seeing a sword first and now there's a knife. Like, what should I do? Y'all, it's not worth it. It's just not worth it. Even if a relationship is, is frayed or broken up or whatever, you have to recognize you have more to see and live in this world and then this current relationship. As bad as that feels, cling on to hope. Have somebody there as an emergency contact. I mean that. Like, have a friend. Have a confidant, a mentor, a support person, a therapist, somebody that you can get to because sometimes the feelings feel so deep and hard that you feel like there's no way out, but there is a way out. That's tomorrow. That's taking the next breath. That's continuing to walk forward. I hope you know that you can tell me whatever you're thinking is when you put me in the spotlight. spotlight. I hope you know I'm faded all this liquor I'm drinking and if I'm taking this the wrong way. Dude. Something happened. She's going back. The whole place is empty. Things crashed around, left around. What happened? I, for a second, I thought he was going to be like sitting there in the same booth staring. Oh, no. Did somebody like rob the place and shoot the place up? There's no bodies there or anything. What happened? Did she do something? Did she go in there and because this place is whole the whole place is wrecked and robbed and everything. And then she just sets down this like sweatshirt or hoodie or whatever. Maybe it was his that she had. Or maybe, maybe it was that dude from behind the counter creeping up. That is scary. What in the world is the story of that, uh, that video compared to the song? Marshmallow and Lil Peep Spotlight. Always brightens my day, y'all. And mental health awareness to the world through music and lyrics. That one has it. Remember, if you're in a toxic relationship and it is your everything and you're confused and you don't know why everything broke up or what happened or you're in a desperate situation, remember... You don't fix a desperate situ situation by desperate measures. You don't do extreme things to try to just all of a sudden get everything back. Pay attention to what you can do to help you today. Balance, exercise, healthy living, stay in con contact with people that care about you, journaling, music, video reactions like this, good therapy, all kinds of great things you can do to help yourself get through today, live a better day today, and know that, hey, if that's going to work out, it's going to work out. But I've got to be a better, healthier person for it also. But remember, this isn't real therapy. Just Tom breaking down lyrics to music. If you want professional help, check the links in the description of this video. There are resources. Keep looking for help. Don't give up. Go to our Discord server. Chat with people. 2,000 people over there chatting about reaction therapy and mental health. It's amazing. And... We have memberships on YouTube now, and we have subscriptions on Patreon, extra content, live streams, all kinds of cool stuff behind the scenes if you want more reaction therapy. Thanks so much for supporting everything we do. Leave us your comments, feedback, insight. Please do. I love hearing from you, and I can't wait to see you on the next Reaction Therapy.